Welcome back to the Craig and Dave channel. I'm David Morgan, the baldest dude you know. And as ever, we dive headfirst into the digital sea to fish out the techie truths and environmental enigmas of the modern world. And today, we're getting our hands dirty with a topic that's as tangled as the heap of unused cables in your junk drawer. Yes, we're talking about e-waste and the UK's struggling attempt to manage the tsunami of tech trash. What exactly is e-waste? In short, it's every discarded piece of technology that, that's reached its use-by date. Think phones, computers, TVs, and apparently enough cables in UK homes to wrap around the earth five times. That's not a world tour, that's a world problem, folks. Actually, Brian from across the road has shown me his collection of unused cables. I think he might be responsible for about 20 to 30% of that. Sort your cables out, Brian! The Environmental Audit Committee's report has given us the stats and they're as scary as a buffering icon on your favorite streaming platform. Every UK household has around 20 unused electronic items. That's a tech graveyard in every home, not a man draw, and it's silently screaming for a second life. But why is our government dragging its feet, like a buffering video on dial-up internet? The e-way tsunami is rising, and the response is more like a leisurely swim than a full speedboat race to safety. Understanding the significance of managing e-waste isn't just about keeping our streets clean. It's a matter of environmental urgency. Improper disposal leads to toxic chemicals leaching into the earth, polluting our planet and wasting precious metals that are essential to technology as caffeine is to me, ah, I mean programs. The UK's got laws and regulations for e-waste management, but it seems there's a bigger gap between these and reality than the one between the rich and the poor. The Environmental Audit Committee recommended 27 different actions to tackle the issue and the government's acceptance was as lukewarm as a cup of tea left out in the good old British weather. Why should we care? Well, mishandling e-waste is like ignoring a glitch in the matrix. It can lead to environmental catastrophes and health hazards, not to mention the economic madness of tossing out valuable resources like yesterday's newspaper. But all is not lost. We can improve this bleak picture with more robust government policies embracing a circular economy and looking up to tech companies that are already setting the recycling runway ablaze. Companies like Apple. Some industry giants are making strides, refurbishing and recycling like there's no tomorrow, which there won't be if we don't get our act together. However, online marketplaces are still the wild west of e-waste, with laws as loose as an old floppy disk. Is that a loose thing? I can't remember. Looking for the future, we can make waves by holding producers responsible for their electronic offspring. From cradle to grave. Consumers also need to roll up their sleeves. After all, every choice has an electric consequence. Imagine a world where every gadget comes with a best before date. And a timeline of updates as clear as the user manual we all ignore. That's the kind of future we could build. So there you have it. The e-waste challenge is as urgent as a low battery notification, and it's time for both government and individuals to power up their efforts. Education and awareness are key because, like in any good game, you need to know the rules to play it right. Remember, we're all part of this digital ecosystem, and it's on us to keep it running more smoothly than a new gaming console. Let's not let our future be a discarded concept left to collect dust in the corner of history. To summarize today's video, the UK faces a significant e-waste problem with unused electronics accumulating in homes, contributing to environmental damage and resource waste. Despite the Environmental Audit Committee's 27 recommendations to address e-waste, the UK government has shown a slow and inadequate response to the crisis. Proper e-waste management is essential to prevent toxic pollution, conserve valuable materials, and support a sustainable and circular economy. There's also a need for stronger governmental policies, industry leadership in e-waste recycling, and consumer awareness to improve e-waste handling and reduce its environmental impact. And with that, it's a wrap for today's episode. If you like this dive into the e-waste world, well, give us a thumbs up, share and subscribe for more tech talks and environmental truths. Q 
keep those cables tidy and those tech habits sustainable. And I'll see you in the next one.